Good morning, everybody. Welcome here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show. This is a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So, today we're doing the first episode of the week. Well, as I've always said, it's actually technically the second episode because when you're running a series, one's going to come out in the morning before we actually do this. So this is the first official episode, I guess, maybe you want to call it that, for the week. Um, this, uh, this episode is called This Week, in which we discuss what is coming up, what is the content for the channel for this week, what will, and we may talk about series, the series, where well, we're going to talk about the series for the month that we're currently running. I may talk a little bit about the series upcoming um, and I do also talk about anything that may have happened in the past that bears correction. So one of the, the thing that happened was last night, I didn't get home till late, um, was out most of the day, came home late, made the video and uploaded it for 10 o'clock. That's the episode of what's new. Normally it comes out at eight, but, uh, had stuff to do and just wasn't going to be home for that. I may actually... Uh, decide at some point to uh, suspend this episode for a month or so depending on what's going to happen at work it looks like we might have to work uh, six days a week so I'm going to have to cut out the Saturday one I just won't have the time for it otherwise but we'll see what happens anyways uh, on with the episode uh, this week which is the 110th one already this will uh, go from September 15th till the 21st and all the episodes included, uh, I will talk about now. And then also talk about a little bit about the series we're running for the month of September. So uh, the second episode comes out at 8 o'clock. Uh, that episode this week will come out at noon today. The episode of uh, Commonalities Compared will come out at Sunday at 8 o'clock. Uh, we're featuring these two bands this week. Super Tramp and ELO. At first, I didn't see the connection, but after thinking about it for a while, I uh, clearly understand why he chose it, and it makes a lot of sense. So we'll be doing those two for this week. Uh, sorry, for commonalities compared at 8 o'clock Sunday. At 8 o'clock on Monday, we'll be doing a look back at a classic rock album, and I chose this album, Eloy's Silent Cries and Mighty Echoes, currently in my playlist. This is a solid album. Um, I like it. I like their music quite a bit. And so we'll be doing this particular album by them for this week's look back at a classic rock album, Monday night at 8. Nomads is up. This is a new series we're going to be doing. So Nomads is a mini-series. It will be a six-episode mini-series that will start this Tuesday running six consecutive weeks until completion in which we're going to talk about um, those musicians that seem to be playing on everybody's album. You know, they may play with other groups, they may play with a lot of studio stuff, but the point is they're, they're on a lot of albums, and the one we're going to be doing to open the series will be John Wetton. Um, yeah, John Wetton, and we see him here with King Crimson on the Red Album. Uh, this is a well-traveled, well-liked, uh, well-established musician. So we'll be doing him for the first episode of Nomads, which will start um, this week, Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. Okay, the next episode comes out on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock, and that's Favorites. Most people, I feel, think this may be the best, the best show on the channel. It hasn't done as well in recent ones as it used to do, but it's still doing fairly well. This time I'm doing a five-album one. Yeah, so I've picked five albums that have incredible instrumentation. Of course, uh, Favorites is a highly subjective uh, show. Um, in fact, I don't think you could have anything but highly subjective for um, an episodes like these in which you're talking about stuff that is of your own opinion. Other people are, of course, going to have their opinions, and that is much invited. So uh, at 8 o'clock this Wednesday, we'll be doing five albums that have incredible instrumentation. I've picked out five. I'm not going to do uh, like a couple from one group. It's, there's too few here. We're just picked out five bands. Okay, next up, uh, Thursday night's 
uh, bi-weekly episode of Ranking the Songs. Last week we had uh, didn't quite live up to what we ha- what we were what we were looking for. And this week we're doing Ranking the Songs and we're doing this album last week, Triumphs Allied Forces. I also did, I believe I did this for Album Sides, but since Album Sides isn't going to be around anymore, I may take some of the albums from that and use them here on this as well. So Triumph will go this week at 8 o'clock on Thursday with Ranking the Songs. Number, uh, next up is Ranking the Albums. Um, Ben has given me albums from Frank Marino, Nazareth, Avery, and Bill Ward, a former drummer of Black Sabbath. Uh, we'll, be list- we'll be listening to four albums from those bands and ranking them. That will be at 9 o'clock Friday. I usually give myself an extra hour, usually the busiest day of the week, and uh, so I need the time to get her done. Um, I had a couple of one-off albums I was planning on doing, but I decided that I'm just going to do the one just because of the busyness of the thing. I've got almost 15 or 16 episodes this week. That's a lot of episodes to do, so I'm going to try and took one out just to give myself a little breather. And the album we're doing is from Recent Album His- History, Recent History Album Review, sorry, featuring Black Sabbath 13. The reason it falls into this category is because it isn't 15 years or older. It's only uh, at this point in time, I think it's only 11 years, so it falls into the recent album, recent history album releases. So we'll be doing that one. Um, and that will come out either at noon or 4 o'clock this week. Usually I do these type of things at 4, but I may do this one at noon since um, the other one was supposed to come out at 4, the other uh, uh, the other one off, but I decided I will put that off for another week. Okay, and then the last episode of the week coming out at 8 o'clock on Saturday night, and hopefully it will stick to that schedule this week, which is what's new. We have Ceramis. And the album is a French name, so I want to make sure I read this correctly. Um, La Fine Non Estesti. Estesti? I think that's Assisti. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, So La Fine Non Estesti is a new album by Ceramis. This is a band that I've done some talking about before when they were on the one of the album uh, wars that I did last year. Well, actually, Ben and me did last year, so it looks like we will be doing a review of this band again, which is good. Now, on to the series. So currently we are on a series um, in which we had one come out this morning. I can't remember who it was on that list this morning. I did it last night, and uh, actually I did it the other day because I didn't. I knew I wasn't going to have time. I was Solstice. So we did Solstice for the first one. And which if you want to see that, you can look this morning. And then now I'm going to give you the other six for the week. Um, the first one will be on Monday. We'll be doing the Kinks. Uh, this is a band that I've been listening to forever, but I've never actually owned anything until very recently. Uh, Renaissance is another band that I've gotten into as a result of the channel. Um, I haven't followed them yet, and I'm not sure why, but we'll get into that when we do it on Tuesday. Wednesday, Angle Guard. This is another band that I actually love the stuff I've heard, but I haven't actually owned anything and haven't really followed them yet. But they, I think they deserve. I think it's probably a case of getting getting the albums might be more difficult than I thought. Thursday, we're doing Pendragon. This is another of those, uh, uh, what do they call them? Uh, second, Oh, neo-prog bands, sorry, from the 80s, yeah. Another neo-prog band, uh, Pendragon. Then we have, of course, legendary band Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. This is a band that many people cannot figure out why I don't listen to, but we're going to talk about it. I actually have several other albums, but I still don't really follow them, and they deserve to be on this list. Uh, Leonard Skinner will come out Saturday, um, the last one for the week. This is a band that I liked quite a bit when I was younger during that Jimi Hendrix period. The Jimi Hendrix, uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan period of my music listening. I, I did get into these guys as well, but never really moved on from them from that point. So those are the uh, six band or seven bands for the week for the series that we're running for September. My, <coughs> well, basically it's 30 bands that I never quite followed yet. 
Okay, so future series, of course, I believe next month is the 1982 series. We're going to run for the month of October, 31 albums or, yeah, 31 albums, my 30... 31 favorite albums from 1982. We'll be doing that next month's series. Um, as far as the future goes, uh, I'm going to stick with doing the mini series that Ben is putting forth after Nomad. I'm sure he has some other ideas. We're going to stick with using the Tuesday for that purpose. This way he gets to ex explore some of his own interests and I get to explore some something different that I don't have to always do the thinking for which is good. You know, we need a little bit of variety. Um, and as for that, that's it so far. I hope to see you all throughout the week on various shows. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. That's much appreciated. And the notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. And don't forget to make your comments in the comments section below. And I hope to hear from you then. Take care and goodbye.